right, with uh, what will be considered to be good by community, right? And like, for example, all those kind of license changes by Mongo or by Redis, right? All they have been, you know, totally legal, right? But they have not been, you know, appreciated by community, right? Mm -hmm. The thing with open source, right, is uh, you can take that code, right, and embed it in your product, mm -hmm. and you don't actually, you can kind of modify it, and you don't have to tell anyone. Think about Grafana, for example. I have seen countless local forks of Grafana, right, where Grafana is kind of being embedded in that product, right, where it's shipped to some ports, maybe, you know, some different local stuff like that. Look, if the project is open source, that means you can use it, like, Fork it and use it according to the terms of uh, of a license that is out there, right? Open source is not a business model, right? Hey, that's as a license model, right? Or distribution for development, distribution. but not really a business model. And I think what is interesting, what you'll find is what a lot of companies build around open source, right? They are not solely open source. Often there is like a something which is being built. Cloud has some, you know, additional features. Uh, recently, uh, in the news of WordPress, mm -hmm. wherever it's like the mm -hmm. automatic or VP engine, hey, there is this kind of like a wonderful open source WordPress, but there is additional features what you have in the cloud, right? You know, maybe it's kind of more usability, security, you name it, right? But not uh, everything in that piece is uh, is an uh, is an open source, and that is best having like subscription revenue to support that work, right? Enterprise subscription that typically is going one license fee, but it's kind of annual payments, or you have a payment.